Is your USCIS I-130 already approved? And you're wondering what could be the next step? Well, this video is for you. If you're new to my channel, just hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you would be notified every time I upload new videos. And please, Share this to your family and friends. channel and for today's vlog we're gonna talk about the NVC process and what are the documents needed for the applicant and the petitioner so the last time I did a video it's about the processing time of um, I-130 petition for alien re relative and it was approved and now we're gonna go to the next step so last February 12 of 2023, I received an email from the NBC. It's the uh, Notice of Immigrant Visa Case Creation. So just a heads up, NBC is responsible for collecting fees for the visa application, collecting civil documents, affidavit of support, and financial documents prior to your visa interview at U.S. Embassy in Manila, Philippines. So, NVC will provide your login. So, uh, February 19 of 2023, I got an email. It's a confirmation email from the CEAC. CEAC is the Department of State's Consular Electronic Application Center. So, NVC will provide your login. So, they're going to give your NVC case number and invoice ID number. So after this, I receive an email again about introduction to document collection. By this time, you need to gather all your documents for the applicant and for the petition. So since NVC already gave you your login IDs, you need to fill up and submit your DS-260 online. So when you're done filling up your DS-260, CEAC will email your confirmation regarding your DS-260. So this is DS-260. DS-260 is an immigrant visa application that must be submitted if you are making an application for a family base or marriage-based green card from outside of the U.S. So DS-264 or immigrant application is processed through National Visa Center or NVC of the U.S. State Department and your local embassy or consulate. So just like what I've said, when you're done filling up your DS-260, CEAC, that's the uh, Department of State's Consular Electronic Application Center, they will email you your confirmation regarding your DS-260. So this is the email that I've got. 
and that means that I submitted my DS260 online and this is the confirmation email that they received my application, the DS260 online. So here is the step-by-step -step process for the immigrant visa and we're just gonna tackle from step 1 to step 9. Travel.state.gov is the official website of the U.S. Department of State Bureau of Consular Affairs. And they also provide information for U.S. visas. So United States provide for immigration visa based on family ties. And for family immigration, there are two types of family-based immigrant visa. One is the immediate relative and one is for the family preference. Of course, for the family preference, like, keep in mind that citizen can file an immigrant visa petition for spouse, son or daughter, and parent, brother or sister. And U.S. lawful permanent residents can only file an immigrant visa petition for their spouse and unmarried son or daughter. So let's begin our family-based immigrant visa process. So this is the whole immigrant visa process from step 1 to step 12. Again, we're just going to tackle step 1 up to step 9 only. So for the step 1, it's a submit a petition. Remember, we already filed our Form I-130 petition for alien relative. That's for the step one. So, your immigrant petition must be approved by USCIS before your case can proceed to NVC. And that's the National Visa Center. So, after USCIS approves your petition, they will transfer your case to NVC. They will send you a welcome letter by email so you can log in to your CAC to check your status, receive messages, and manage your case. We're on to the next step and it's step 3. That's pay fees. For the immigrant visa application processing fee, it'll cost you $325 dollars each and for the affidavit of support it'll cost you a hundred and twenty dollars each person so i filed separately for my parents that's why it's gonna be 325 each and 120 dollars each So step four, affidavit of support. You need to sign this form I-164 that you agree to financially support an immigrant who applies for either an immigrant visa or adjustment status to become a lawful permanent resident. So next is step five for the financial documents. Financial documents, it's your tax papers like W-2, Income tax return, I-164A. On to step 6, it's a complete online visa application. You have to fill up DS-260 online since NVC gave your login ID. So you have to file it online. Step 7, civil documents. So collect civil documents. After you complete DS-260, you must collect civil documents. And that includes birth certificate, marriage certificate, police clearance. We'll talk about it later, more of the documents. Step eight, scan collected documents. Once you have collected all the necessary documents, you must scan and save them. In order to scan your documents, you will need to have a scanner or a smartphone. I just used my smartphone and downloaded this app called Cam Scanner, and it's so easy and very convenient. A lifesaver. 
Cam Scanner is a free app that allows you to scan and share documents. So this is Cam Scanner. I highly recommend this app. You guys need to download this to your smartphone because this is a lifesaver, especially when you don't have a scanner at home. We are on to step nine and step nine, it's upload and submit scanned documents. To submit documents, you need to log into your CEAC account and when you uploaded all the required documents needed, all you need to do is to click submit documents. Don't forget on that one. Always click submit documents. If NVC determines that you did not submit correct documents, you will receive notification or message from them to your email. And this is the best example. I received an email from them that I need to re-upload a document. Of course, um, NVC will also ask for some documents, supporting documents and uh, civil documents. So these are the documents that I uploaded online. I uploaded uh, Form I-164, that's the affidavit of uh, support. I also uploaded the, uh, the last three years of um, my income tax return. I also uploaded my W-2, that's gonna be your latest W-2. And I also uploaded my uh, birth certificate, marriage certificate, and certificate of um, naturalization. This is I-864. By signing this form, you agree to financially support an immigrant who applies for either an immigrant visa or adjustment status to become a lawful permanent resident. So if you're not the only one who's working, like um, you have a husband or a wife, um, NVC will ask for uh, paperwork as well for your husband or wife. And this one, it's form I-164A. It's called the uh, contract between uh, the sponsor and the household member. So this one will be... Um, a financial commitment to to the application so you're gonna upload your husband or your wife's marriage contract as well and his or her w-2s and what else and of course don't forget their uh, naturaliz naturalization naturalization certificate this one is i 864 a this legal document is a supplemental form to the primary I-864 form that affidavit of support and I-864A is to establish the financial bona fides of those who contribute to a sponsor income and a household. And for the applicant's paperwork, uh, for, that's going to be for my mom and dad. So again, previously, um, I told you guys that I filed uh, my petition separately. So um, I uploaded, of course, under my dad's and under my mom's, both of them. I uploaded um, my marriage certificate, my authenticated birth certificate, that's PSA authenticated birth certificate. And of course, um, my parents' uh, marriage certificate and my dad's my mom and dad's birth certificate and of course uh, their passport and their photos photos is like two by two photo like the visa size two by two photos and lastly is the nbi clearance i know in the philippines like we have NBI clearance and police clearance, but um, they will just honor the NBI clearance. So take note on that. So I don't want you to have like any mistakes on this. And yeah, just a heads up. 
they'll just accept um, NBI clearance. If NVC determined you have paid the necessary fees, submitted the required immigrant visa application, affidavit of support, and all supporting documents to NVC, you will receive an email that your case is documentarily complete. So this email is from my dad. He was documentarily qualified March 23rd of 2023, but my mom's, she received her documentarily qualified email may 23 2023 i know you guys have been wondering that um for the documentarily accepted my my mom and my dad they have a different date because like the reviewing officer probably um assigned to my dad and assigned to my mom it's it's two different person i know they're couples but they're um they're assigned um officer for the, their paperwork it's it's a two separate uh people probably um my mom's he or she is like more strict than my dad's that's why i have to get a new um psa birth certificate from the philippines because the old one that I have is um, that's without a QR code. Then when I requested for a new birth certificate, um, I noticed that the new birth certificate, it has a um, QR code on the top, I think. So as of March 8th of this year, 2024, um, NVC already completed um, processing the um, immigrant visa application of my parents. For my next vlog, we're going to talk about the remaining step and how to schedule and complete a medical examination for my parents. Because this step gave me a terrible headache and a lot of stress so watch out for my next vlog thanks for watching please like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload new videos thank you